What are you filming? Yeah. Oh, okay. What's up, YouTube? Today we're uh, doing a little bit of a follow-up video. We said we'd make a video on us and uh, installing this 220-volt plug for our TIG welder during the uh, light installation video. So here we are. We had, uh, at the breaker panel in the garage, we have the main power to the house shut off. And basically, here's what we have done so far. We have our 220 volt plug mounted on the wall. This is a surface mount. It's not one that you mount in the wall like these boxes over here. We have our four six gauge wires run. We have our two grounds, two powers. Why are we running two grounds? Because in case this box shorts out, we need it so it'll trip the breaker. So <clears throat> that's why we're running two grounds. This is six gauge stranded wire for home use, of course. And this is a GE panel. So we have a GE 50 amp breaker. Our welder only draws 40 amps max. So this will do just fine. <clears throat> and this is just some outdoor weatherproof kind of conduit. I use this instead of regular conduit because that requires bending and cutting. And it's basically just so you don't have bare wires running uh, against the wall that you know are obviously carrying high current. So the wires are run into the box through this conduit through one of the push out slots and they run up to our plug right here. We have our four wires sticking out. This is the ground for the box. This is the ground for the plug and these are our two power wires. So we're going to get started on connecting everything up. Richard has to cut these wires to size and put them where they have to go on the corresponding bus bars and all that jazz. So, yeah, should be pretty interesting, to say the least. This is not the proper way to cut wire either, by the way. I just don't have any means of cutting fucking six gauge home electrical wire. So. Make do with what you got. $62. Yes, Richard, it's $62 to fill a 55 cubic inch tank. But you know what? That 55 cubic inch tank will probably last Not us a while. Alright, guys, so on my side, the side that's actually going into the plug, I got all my wire stripped. I have this ring terminal soldered to the ground that's grounding the box out. So I'm just going to run these up through the hole right here for the plug and screw this back on. That's fine. That's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so we need the, let's work with this one first. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, that should be good. Okay guys, so now we have everything connected on the box side. We have both our ground set up, both our power wires. So I'm just going to push this up and tighten this ring down as much as I can. And I can't really tighten much more than that. Yeah, it's not really going to get tight much more than that. Unless you can, but I think the threads are just too fucked up on it. Okay. I can't tell you how scary it is even having the power off to even have my fingers anywhere near this thing right now. Wow. Uh, Imagine another 90 degree right about there. Hit <laughs> yourself in the face. A little bit. <laughs> Cheap mic. I 
Speaking of cheap, what are you talking about? A not cheap, cheap microphone. It's like, it's like 30 bucks. It's a freaking really nice. Did I tell you how this breaker panel is underwater? Or like there was a puddle of water at the bottom here. Yeah. My uncle went to take the uncle and I went to take the cover off. Yeah. So us doing this actually is somewhat beneficial because now there's a big hole at the bottom. So now any of the water that wants to come in through here, because it was coming in where the main line was, which is super dangerous, and it was just collecting at the bottom. It just has to be tightened down. Both fit in. I don't know much it would hurt if you did this or this. And by hurt, I mean potentially kill you. Pound cord. Yeah, easy. <laughs> of course, it's upside down. Why would it be right side up? <laughs> this thing's gonna fucking rip that plug out of the wall, I'm telling you. Ow! Watch out, watch out, watch out. Sounds like they're hauling ass. All I hear is V8. Uh, all right. Are they just clicking? No. You know what? I think it has to go behind the bus bar first and then clicks in. Because the way you pull it out, you pull them out like that. Push it in all the way. Fucking weeks. Yeah, it's Sure. Okay. Wanna flip the main? Very nerve wracking with you standing there. Now. Oh, let's put the panel back on. Okay, we gotta pop the cover out for that. Did it already popped out? I already popped it. Mm. Popped out the wrong one, remember? I don't remember. You did that without me. Oh, well, you know the 50 amp's not even on, so. All right. Nothing's arcing yet, but that 50 amp for the plug's still not on. We have to try it. We can't just... Huh? What are you doing? I mean, if you want to flip it using this, you can. It's, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's not going to go through the breaker or nothing. Yay! Well, we don't know if it actually works. No. It's the Alpha Tig 200X 2016 model. I thought it was 250 pounds. I don't know if it's 200X. <laughs> Did you not open the... No. <laughs> and of course, this one's upside down, too. Huh? Why? That's so stupid. <laughs> that's fucking... Oh, you know what dryers are like this? They go... They're upside down, too. I guess yeah. that's just a 220 thing. I don't know why. To me, that seems stupid. Plug her in, plug her in. That's the first thing to say. Hold on, hold on. I can't read. Yeah, nothing's plugged into it, but we're just... We're unsure of this. What are you unsure of? It's literally connected to four wires. Flight breaker. Hey! hey! We did it! We know how to wire up a 220 slash 40 volt outlet, because in my case, it's actually 240 volt. Yeah, but she 
is uh, working. Cool. And we also have the, the most ridiculous extension cord. Yeah, that extension cord is thicker than this one. Yeah. <laughs> Which I don't understand at all. Yeah. See, that's the one thing I don't like is that this has a circuit breaker to turn it on and off. You do that enough times with the circuit breaker, it stops working. Okay. Well, we did it. I dare you play your cards, boy. You bet I'm a transcendent too. Fire when the strong hits you. What's it, Brian?